Meg goes downhill totally. Piers reignites Furious Duchess feud after taking fresh swiper trials. Piers Morgan has reignited his ongoing feud with Meghan Markle as he argued about the impact cancel culture has on freedom of speech while he promoted his new talk show. Piers Morgan has reignited his feud with Meghan Markle after the former Good Morning Britain presenter took a fresh swipe at the Duchess of Sussex on Fox News. On Thursday, March 31st, join the 57-year-old joins Jesse Wathers and her fellow co-hosts on the American News Channel to talk about his new talk show Piers Morgan Uncensored, which premieres on April 25th in the UK. As they talked about what viewers can expect from the new show, Piers launched into a rant at the mum of two as he discussed freedom of speech and cancel culture. And his fellow TV hosts couldn't help but poke fun at the broadcaster for his strong opinions as he fumed about the royal on air. His comment about Meghan came after he raged about free speech and being able to say whatever you want without any negative repercussions. Piers explained, I want to get back to what it used to be like where you could have a tear-up argument with a good friend about some issue in the news and afterwards go and have a beer together. Spotting an opportunity to tease the journalist on air, Jesse sarcastically quipped, like Meghan Markle? Taking a cheeky swipe at the doting mum, he replied, there are some exceptions to my cancel culture rule and I can only thank the American people for taking Ms. Markle back. We couldn't be more grateful he teased as the group chuckled at his sharp comments on the show. The former Britain's Got Talent judge has been vocal about his disdain for Meghan and Prince Harry since he stormed off the set of Good Morning Britain in March 2021 following his argument with Alex Beresford about the royals. The duo discussed Meghan and Harry's tell-all interview with Oprah Winfrey, as he called to question the former actress' claims about feeling suicidal. At the time the dad of three insisted that he didn't believe in the royal, but since he stepped away from the ITV morning show, the presenter's feud with Meghan has only grown. Following his controversial comments on air, Piers sparked more than 40,000 Ofcom complaints before the star quit the show. The star went on to describe himself as a global irritant as he shared how his new TV show would air every night in America, the UK and Australia. He added, I want to irritate all the right people, all the people we all find uniques irritating. It's this permanently offended, snowflakey, cancel culture mob, who descend like a pack of hornets on anything they can get themselves into, trying to suppress everyone's right to an opinion. Prince Harry and his wife Meghan Markle have backed themselves into a corner by skipping Prince Philip's memorial service, a royal commentator has claimed. A congregation of 1,800 joined together to honour the legacy of Prince Philip at Westminster Abbey on Tuesday. The event was one of the largest gatherings of the extended royal family in many months. Her Majesty the Queen was joined by other senior members of the royal family, including Prince Charles, Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, Princess Anne, Prince William, and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were not in attendance at the service of Thanksgiving. Meghan and the couple's children have not returned to the UK together since their exit from the royal family two years ago. Meanwhile, Harry has only been back in the country twice dash once for his grandfather's funeral a year ago and for the unveiling of Princess Diana's statue in the sunken gardens at Kensington Palace. The couple live in Montecito, California with their two children, Archie Harrison and Lilibet Diana. Ahead of the service, there was speculation over whether the Duke of Sussex would return to celebrate his grandfather's life and work. However, early last month, a spokesperson for the Duke and Duchess confirmed that Harry would not be attending the service of Thanksgiving. Harry would not be